Hey, it's Elena. Welcome back to the channel. It has been a minute. As the title says, we are going to be doing the new Kaja lip jelly swatches. I have them all right here. I didn't know that I could use them on my cheeks. And you know what? I could probably use it on my eyes too. So they have six different shades. We're going to start with the first color, which is Cherry Spritz. It's in like a little charm, which I feel like really helps me get in touch with my my inner child and the fact that they all come with this little keychain right here i just think is so adorable i love tinted lip products the difficult part about tinted lips though when i am doing swatches it is so difficult to remove so this is it with just one swatch it's actually really really pigmented super moisturizing I'm going to just do two swatches. I think this is such a cute, flattering color, especially for Valentine's Day. February is the month of love. So let's do another swatch while I tell you guys what's up. Okay, first of all, it's really pigmented. I took a little break from YouTube because I kind of just wanted to regroup and see what my purpose was again when it comes to doing YouTube. And there are a lot of things with YouTube that I have been dealing with that has been very difficult for me as someone who creates videos on YouTube, which I won't share right now, just because I don't feel like I'm ready to share it. That's so pigmented. I'm not usually the type of person to wear a very bold lip color like this, but I actually think I really like it. Anytime I ever wear a bright red color, I always get a lot of compliments saying that that is definitely my color. And I think, you know, Kaja, I think you're making me really, really like this. This is what it looks like just as a tint. I love tints for the reason that it stays on my lips and I still get that like nice flush of color. I don't even have to reapply. I could just apply some lip balm or some clear lip gloss. I'm gonna be adding some concealer so we can see better the next color. So as I've been trying to figure those things out, I have gotten really invested in TikTok and you know, my job outside of social media. What I realized about life is it just never feels like you're doing anything 100% right. Every time I come back to YouTube after just taking a little bit of time off, which is not very often, however, it has been often recently. I just feel so much better with what I'm doing. So the next color is Squeeze Guava, which is their second color in the line. They all have a slight scent to it too, which I think smells fantastic. Okay, this is a more everyday wearable color. This is probably a color from the line I would wear the most just because it's not too bold. I feel like the first one I tried is more date night vibes. This one is more of an everyday color. I really like it. And the tones of these just really fit my my personal undertone so well. I have a like a yellowish olive undertone. It looks really nice. Let's move on to the next one which is Berry Colada. This one is looking a little bit more on the purpley side, which I do love a little purple lip moment. I was just talking to my best friend today. I love her very much. She is most definitely my soulmate. We are 23 years old and we've just been talking about how weird it feels to be 23. Like we have really no idea what's going on in our lives. And I feel like a lot of people view us as people who has it together. However, we just don't feel that way. I don't really think a lot of 23 year olds feel like they have it together. I don't know what it is that's giving anybody the impression that we have it together. Cause she was just saying this too we really don't know what we're doing. I mean, like if you have it together at 23, that's amazing, good for you. But I, I, don't, I don't think anybody has it together, to be honest. There are always areas in our lives where we would love to improve that or areas in our lives where we're really struggling, but we're so good at hiding it from everybody. Wait, hold on, before I continue. Do you guys see that? I love this color, definitely wearable on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you everyone who has ever said I have it together or I look like I have it together. But that's key word, right? Look, 
Like, I can look whatever or however I want to look. That doesn't mean what you see is how I'm actually doing. Anyway, this is Fig Soda. Another purpley undertone one. And this one looks a little bit more purple than the last. So a little bit darker. I love a little dark lip moment. Anyway, going back to what I was saying, that's why it's super important to never compare yourself to anybody online. Even the most successful people on social media, you just, you never really, 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 really know what's going on behind the scenes. I feel like this is a little bit more like on the brown side, which brown lips has been super popular lately and I fully support it. I support that so much, it looks so good. It looks so good. What do you guys think? So far, comment down below which one's your favorite. I really like this, I, I do. This is Peach Fizz, which is the fifth color of the line. It's gonna obviously, I think, be a little bit more on the peachy side. I feel like it's gonna be a really good everyday wear, which I am right. I am acting like I have not swatched these, but I just, I genuinely forgot what they look like. This is definitely an everyday wear. I love how they call these jelly charms. My lips look like jelly. They look like glossy jelly. <sighs> I love it so much. Because these exist, I don't want to hear anymore that people don't like the feeling of lip gloss. The old, goopy, glossy, sticky lip gloss that a lot of people who wear matte lipsticks do not like, but like the look of glossy lips, this is your friend because it doesn't have that stickiness, it's so light. It really does have that buildable pigment. So the last one is Mocha Glaze, which is their sixth color of the line. Those who have darker lips than I do, this might be the your lips but better. I've wiped my lips so many times. Do you see that? That pigment is still there from the first swatch. It looks so good with my brown shirt. I think it looks so good. Those are all the jelly charms. I so hope that you enjoyed these swatches. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next video. Bye.